Hey, I'm some guy named Juan. Is it too late to accomplish all the dreams I had as a kid? Over the course of the next year, I'm gonna try to knock out my bucket list of all the creative things I've ever wanted to do. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Losing No Losers Who Are Never Gonna Make It. I'm your host, Johnny you Get a Real Job Johnson. And our special guest tonight is some guy named Juan. Hey guys. So tell us about yourself, loser. I'm an aspiring screenwriter once to make it into Hollywood. You make it into Hollywood? Why would they ever allow someone like you in? Because I have some talent? <laughs> I highly doubt that. I've actually been told that you tried to accomplish this impossible goal already. Yeah, in 2018, I left behind my entire life in New York and I rode an Amtrak train for three days and I moved to Los Angeles and I tried making it into Hollywood. We actually have footage of some of your pathetic attempts. Let's have a look. So Hollywood, you don't want to accept unsolicited material, right? Will you accept the pizza? There's a nice pizza in here. But inside shall be hidden the movie menu. Something I did at one in the morning. Not perfect, but put it together and it just came apart. Had to fix it. All right, on that side. Here we go. Wish me luck. I was recording the video and I'm so fucking angry. Something happened, man. I made it all the way up there. I delivered the pizza. I got to record the whole thing, me walking through, going to the elevator, getting upstairs, walking through Amazon Studio, and it didn't fucking record, man. But Nick Hall, whoever that guy is, it's like someone important there. He has my movie, man. He has a free pizza. Let's see what happens. But damn, I lost that fucking footage, man. We are going to try again. Hopefully this time we get it. We're gonna try a Hulu now. Here we go. Right, turn on the brightness on the screen so they can't tell what I'm doing. We're recording. Please do not mess up on me camera. Please. Yeah. Hey guys, you know which way to Hulu? Hulu. What floor? We're in. This is. Hi. Delivery for a Peter Namer. Okay, you should put it on the back. Okay, no problem. Thank you. That's it? You actually left everything you knew and moved to a state where you didn't know anyone so you could deliver pieces with your happy ideas inside of them? I'm guessing none of these people responded, did they? No. <laughs> Turns out you don't just suck at writing, but also at acting. We have a commercial you did for our cable company. Let's waste our time, ladies and gentlemen. What about a speaker? Okay. Hello? Hi, Mr. Tony Montana. Hey, this is Alex from Spectrum Cable. Just calling to make sure everything's okay. We sent over one of our technicians to your house this morning and we haven't heard back from him. Is everything all right? We had a little problem. I'm sorry to hear that you had problems. Yeah, how'd you hear that? Um, because you just told me? Is our technician Alberto still there? Yeah, well, you got Alberto, you know? He's a piece of shit, you know? I told him to do something. He didn't listen to me, so I had to cancel his fucking contract. I'm not sure I understand what's going on. Do you want us to cancel your cable service? Hey, hey, who the fuck do you think you're talking to, huh? Who the fuck do you think I have to fucking dump, boy? Not at all, sir. I didn't mean to upset you. Come here, fuck you. I'm a brother. Do you want to go to war? Come on. Do you want to go to war? We'll take you to war, okay? Man, fuck this. Pay your fucking bill, you fucking cokehead, and tell Alberto's immigrant ass to get back to work. I'm out to lunch, bitches. Spectrum Cable. We the plug. Horrible, horrible acting. So what else did you do in Hollywood? Well, I actually... Shut up. Let's just watch the clip. I created a poster board with a bunch of the artwork from different projects from the movie menu. And I am going to leave it at 
Heroes and Villains Entertainment, which is one of the biggest literary managing management companies in uh, in Los Angeles. All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully, they'll actually look at this thing. Wait two seconds. Over here, we have the Netflix building. One of my targets. You disgust me. Most writers in Hollywood have busted their ass for years to make it into the industry. And you thought leaving some stupid poster boards and your shitty ideas taped to some doors would get you in? Anyway, here's another stupid commercial that's failure made. This one's for a shipping company. What'd you fucking say? I didn't say anything. Are you guys gonna sign for the box? What's in the box? I don't know, bro. I don't pack these things. What's in the fucking box? I don't know. No! Hey, I really gotta go, man. Please don't kill me. If you kill him, he will win. I'm not trying to win anything. Oh, God! UPS. We will deliver any shit, eventually. Sadly, harassing some of these people with pieces wasn't the only stupid thing that you did. You also had the nerve to call someone. Roll this filth of a clip. So a few years ago, by sheer random luck, I got my hands on this card. This is the personal business card of Eric Schreier, I believe you pronounce it. And he was the senior vice president at FX Network. Right now, he's the president. And... I'm gonna call him, see what happens. I'm also gonna try to send the guy an email. All right, let's call this guy. Eric Schreier's office. Yeah, can I please speak to Eric? Sorry, over that? Oh, uh, can I speak to Eric Schreier, please? Yes, you're calling? Uh, some guy named Juan, he's expecting a call from me. Okay, let me see, one moment. Oh, I don't have one, but I'll call back, thank you. All right, thank you. Well, that didn't work. So we're gonna send this guy an email. I can't tell you how, but about a year ago, I got Jordan Peele's phone number, and I called him. I called him a few times, and I left him some messages. And a few days later, he called me back by accident, and he didn't realize. And I hear him in the background talking to his family, then I guess he looked at the phone and goes, oh shit, and he hung up. <laughs> I haven't bothered him since, but now is a good time as ever. Let's call Jordan Peele. What do you think he's gonna say? I don't think he's gonna pick up. He still hasn't blocked my number though. That's a good sign. Hi, this is Jordan. Please leave a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Jordan, some guy named Juan. Just reaching out, I wanted to share something with you when you get a chance to check out your text and uh let's work together. You have a good one. Now I'm gonna send him a message with a link to a bunch of my shit. I would spit in your face if this wasn't live on national television. Let's see the last stupid commercial you did. This one's for the Welcome to the Bronx Committee. Yeah. Toto? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Kansas? Bitch, is this like fucking Kansas you? We must be over the rainbow. Nah, bitch, you in the Bronx. You wanna buy some crack? Selling at a real, real good price. You are? Damn right. I got them dimes for nine, mama. Welcome to the Bronx. We got them dimes for nine, mama. So your whole time there, did you do anything that wasn't stupid and unprofessional? Actually, I did. I wrote a screenplay called Injustice and actually had a meeting with a group that was interested in purchasing the script rights. Want to see a trailer I made for it? No, I definitely don't, but my producers tell me we have to play it. What do you want from me? I've told you everything. I've worked with you guys. You can't just kill me and get away with it. Oh, fucking cop for Christ's sake. 
So was I. Sounds boring. I also have the movie menu. What the fuck is a movie menu? see my ideas live somehow so I'm just gonna give them away for free I'm giving away a thousand ideas for free on Twitter I'm gonna give away a hundred and one shot and then one every day for the next 900 days what if I told you that you're just an idea yourself you're not real none of us are we're all just characters in his story what about them them <laughs> they think they're just watching a YouTube video some fat guy trying to make it into Hollywood but they're just a character in his story as well who writes the story? Some guy named Wolf. <laughs> 